Hi and welcome, I'm Holly. Welcome to this rotational core yoga flow. So we'll be focusing on ways to look at how we actually twist in our yoga practice and what muscles we use when we're twisting. This way of moving in our practice is we want it to be functional for everyday life. So if we think about two simple ways in which we actually twist and Firstly, the first way that we would look at our twisting positions would be to just use the leverage of our core muscles. So simply, for instance, in a seated twist, I'm not you, I've just got simply the movement of my spine by working these rotational core muscles. And these rotational core muscles that we'll mainly be working today, the oblique muscles, a nice kind of like crisscross around the, the center of the body, and then multifidi. So these muscles like span the whole length of the back, even up into the neck, and these assist in our motion of rotational movement. So the rotational leverage in terms of twisting would be hopefully from those core muscles. So that would be the first way of twisting. And then the second way of twisting, which we tend to do a lot more in yoga, is the leverage of a body part or a strap or something. So again, in a seated twist, you might place your hand onto a body part, your hand onto the floor, and then move into a twist. Feels good, absolutely fine, but we wanna try and focus today on the first one with rotational core leverage from the core muscles. We'll probably feel a bit of help with the help of the leverage of the body in some parts of practice, but I want you to kind of really tune into those oblique muscles, multifidi muscles, to really try and move from that center of your body today. Okay, so let's get started. We're gonna to come to start in a child's pose first. So bringing the knees onto the mat, toes to touch and pressing the hips back and behind. I don't know why she comes here. Every time I come and practice now, she comes to join me. So, sorry, I've got the cat with me. <laughs> so reach the arms forwards into a extended child's pose. And just take a couple of deep breaths here. So feel that space into the back of the body, the length of the lat muscles along the span, the spanning across the lower, but the back into the upper arms. Good. Again, a few deep breaths, inhale and exhale. Good, again, inhale and exhale. And pressing down into the fingertips. Even lift the center of the palms up a little, so as if you're sort of pressing the fingertips around a tennis ball. And then lift the elbows just awaken this child's pose for a moment. Take a nice deep breath in and out. Good, let's make our way nice and slowly back into an all fours position. And then just let your hips rock a little from side to side. So whether you're practicing here in the morning or in the evening, just notice how that feels just to simply unwind your spine. Good. And then really, really slowly from here, we're gonna start to take our left leg and we're gonna reach the left leg off our yoga mat so it comes off to the side of our mat. Keeping the left hand grounded beneath the shoulder. And then slowly when you're ready, taking the right hand out to the side. So you want the right hand to come just to about shoulder height. So we're not reaching it any higher at the moment because I want you to just kind of, kind of feel the shoulders stable, feel the back stable for a moment. Good, and then when you're ready, take a breath in, reach the right hand all the way up to the sky. As you exhale, start to slowly thread the arm through across the body and just let the arm just hover off the mat there ever so slightly. Good, from here, inhale, just take the arm to shoulder height and then pause as you exhale. Now we can get that nice full deep breath in to get as much rotation as possible. So we feel into those obliques now and then exhale, thread through, place the arm through and just hover off the mat. Let's do that again. So just to shoulder height, take a breath in, pause as you exhale, then inhale, reaching back up to the sky 
and exhale to thread through. Good, let's do that one more time. So really slow, inhale, reach out to the side, pause as you exhale. And then from here, inhale, come all the way up and really try and notice the movement of the abdominals, the, sorry, the use, use of your abdominals as you then come through, exhale. And then from here, we're gonna start to actually place that right shoulder down if it feels okay to do so. Maybe you keep that left hand where it is, just making sure you're not sort of placing too much weight down on the neck. And then we're gonna see if it feels okay to slowly take that left hand up into the air maybe even place it around to just clip and hug onto that right hip crease. Good, breathe here, breathe out. So we've got the hand on the body part. So at this moment, we've got that body part leverage in this twist and you can start to roll that left shoulder back a little bit. If you're feeling extra, like a tra extra, like you'd like an extra challenge today, see if you can rise up onto your left tiptoes. You might even then be able to bring those toes off the floor. Breathe in and then breathe out. Well done, let's release that left hand. Inhale now, sweep the right hand all the way up in the air and then exhale to release really, really slowly. Can you start to now lift that left leg? Feel a bit of the glutes so the buttocks muscles starting to work a little bit here as well to keep lifting that leg up. Take a deep breath in. And then as you exhale, start to hug the knee into the chest and round your back for space. Good, and again, inhale, reach the leg nice and long. And then exhale to round the spine, hug the knee to the chest. Good, from here, inhale, reach the leg long. And then exhale, bend the knee. And then can you lift the thigh up a little bit here? Good, and then we're just gonna slowly open that left hip up to the sky. Really slowly, just breathe into that side of the waist, the left side, breathe in. Good, and then breathe out nice and slowly. Bring the leg across to the diagonal, so over towards your right elbow, breathe in. And then breathe out, let's again open that knee up into the air. Good, breathe in. And then across to the diagonal, knee to elbow, breathe out. Good, from there we're gonna release the knees down to the ground. And keeping the hands directly in through the shoulders, just start to now tuck the toes under and see if you can just hover the knees off the mat. So think about how the spine feels here. If there's any sort of dipping in the lower back, can you begin to almost try and hug in a little bit at the ribs and keep floating those knees off the floor? Good, take a breath in. And then as you exhale, can you swivel the toes over to your right and swivel the knees over to the right? Good, inhale back through center, and then exhale, swivel the toes to the left, knees to the left. Let's do that one more time. Inhale through center, exhale to the right. Inhale through center. Can we feel those obliques working? And then exhale to the left. Good, then super slow. Let's send the hips up to the sky and arrive in our first downward facing dog pose. See what you need to do, whether that's a paddle out of the feet, reaching through the arms, take a deep breath in. Nice, and then slowly release the knees back down to the ground, exhale. Let's take our right leg out to the side now. So off the yoga mat to the side, keeping that right shoulder and wrist stacked. We'll take the left hand out to the side and just pause for a moment, check in with the spine, making sure there's no collapsing through the shoulders stabilize the shoulders gently hug in at the ribs if need be see how that feels and then slowly inhale reach all the way up into the sky from here we're going to exhale thread the left arm through across the body and just hover off the mat good and inhale here taking the arm just to shoulder height first exhale to pause then we inhale reach all the way up in the air Feeling hopefully those oblique muscles and then slowly exhale, threading through across the body. Two more like that. So inhale, slowly just reach out to shoulder height. Exhale, pause. 
it shouldn't rush this at all take your time to inhale feel through those obliques helping you twist and then exhale to thread through last time inhale left arm reaching out to the side exhale pause then inhale the oblique muscles starting to rotate and twist the spine exhale to thread through good let's place the left shoulder down to the ground and then with that right hand, if it feels good, maybe you take the right hand up in the air. Breathe, breathe out. Maybe you take that hand fingertips to wrap to meet that left hip crease as an option. So we've got a bit of a leverage now, hand onto the body, using that to slowly open through the chest, but then still bringing your attention to those oblique muscles and allowing them to help you twist into this position. Good. And then if you want to have that added challenge here, maybe you lift up on the tiptoes of that right foot. Good. Maybe you even float that right foot off the floor. Breathe in. And then breathe out. Slowly releasing the right hand from there. Let's inhale, sweep the left hand all the way up. And then exhale to release super slow so try not to rush here can you lift up that right leg work wake up that right glute muscle good exhale breathe in start to bend the knee let the thigh bone lift up breathe out breathe in and then exhale slowly round the spine hug the knee to the chest and again inhale sending the knee behind and then exhale to round Good, and again, inhale, this time pause, and then exhale, can you peel open that right knee and hip towards the sky? Breathe in, and then breathe out, slowly bring the knee through the center across the diagonal towards your left elbow. One more, inhale, peel that right hip open towards the sky, and then exhale, hugging the knee in across to the diagonal, left elbow. Good, and then from there, release the knees to the ground. Check back in with the positioning of your spine, trying to find that neutral place for your pelvis. So we're not rolling or tilting the pelvis too much, we're just finding that neutral place in the middle. And then bringing the hands under the shoulders, can we tuck the toes and return back to just hovering in that all fours position? Breathe in breathe out and then inhale can we twist the knees to the right exhale through center using those oblique muscles inhale through left side exhale through center maybe as an option start to add on so we inhale twist to the right taking that right hand off the ground exhale through center inhale through the left option to take left hand off the floor exhale through center let's do that one more time inhale to the right exhale through center inhale through the left and then exhale through center then super slow reach those legs nice and long downward facing dog good breathing in and breathing out good inhale and exhale Take a little bend into the knees, lift the hips up into the air, breathe in and breathe out. Let's see if we can walk our right hand now across the mat, maybe to the left hip, maybe the left shin, or maybe even the left ankle. And we take a little twist here. Again, we're using the leverage of the body part to assist, but can you bring the majority of your movement from those rotational core muscles? Breathe in and breathe out, nice release. Let's slowly take left hand across the body. Before you use your hand to help twist, can you use those rotational core muscles? Then the hand can assist. Breathe in and breathe out to twist. Nice, let's slowly release. And then walking your hand, feet all the way through to the center of your mat. Bring the hands to the shins, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Good, inhale, rising all the way up, bone by bone. And let your shoulders release, exhale. 
Good, so coming up to standing, bringing yourself now to bring your feet parallel side by side and then just start to step your right foot over your left foot. So crisscrossing the legs here and pressing down through both your feet. Good, and then starting to slowly take your arms up into the air, we're gonna take a hold of the right wrist with the left fingertip. So the index finger and thumb helps here, or middle finger. And as you inhale, reach up as tall as you can through that right side. And then exhale, start to slowly side bend over to the left. Bring your focus into the right rib cage. So really breathe into that right side. And then as you exhale, we're gonna draw the right rib cage across to the diagonal and move as slow as you can as you windmill your way all the way down to the ground. Good. Arriving to the floor, let the fingertips touch the ground and then slowly inhale, peel your way back up. Steady and slow. Good, and breathe. So you want to feel a bit of a stretch into the lats, the back muscles, but again, focusing a bit on those rotational core muscles to help you move into this rotational twist. So let's inhale, take the arms back up in the air and then exhale, release. I've forgotten to change legs. So let's come back into a parallel position here. We're going to step the other foot over. So left foot over, crisscross the legs. There we go. <laughs> inhale, reach up into the air. Taking a hold now of your left wrist with the thumb, index finger or middle finger. Exhale. And let's start to reach through that left side. Inhale. Side stretch to the right. Exhale. Good. Now can you bring your focus into that left lung? So breathe into that left side. And then as you exhale, left side of the ribs starting to draw across the diagonal. Make your way down really slowly as you windmill your way all the way down. Perfect. From there, fingertips to the earth and then inhale, stack the spine up. Bone by bone. Good. Release out those shoulders. Wonderful. Uncross the legs, stepping to the top of your mat and let's begin to flow a little bit together now. So feet parallel, hip distance apart, hands to prayer at the heart centre. Check in with how you're standing, how your posture is. You're dropping the head forwards, you're slouching through the shoulders. Maybe not, maybe you are, but try and just check in with how that feels. Can we bring the head back into space a little bit? We tend to spend so much time on our devices, so our head drops quite often. So let's try and bring that head back into space. Press down through the toes. Take a nice deep breath in. And out. Let's begin to flow. Inhale, reach up into the air, looking up. And then exhale, fold, hinging at the hips. Take the hands to the shins. Inhale, halfway lift. And then exhale, stepping back into your plank pose. Or you can drop your knees if you need. Take a deep breath in. And then everybody exhale, lower knees, lower chest to the ground. Good. We're going to slide the forearms forwards for our Sphinx pose. Reach the toes long. Breathe in. And then breathe out. Let's slowly round through the back. Let the belly button lift off the floor. And pause here. Maybe even the hips, comes off, hips come off the floor. Take a breath in. And then a breath out to release the hips. Good. Bring the hands beneath the shoulders. Inhale up to all fours. And then exhale into our downward facing dog. Two breaths here, breathe in, breathe out. Good, again, inhale, exhale. Starting to gaze forwards, step, walk, hop or jump, whatever you wish to do to make your way forwards to the top, breathe in, exhale, fold. Take the hands to the shins, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Good, let's inhale, reach the hands all the way up into the air, rising back up to stand tall. And then hands to your heart, exhale. Good, and again like that. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, fold. Good, hands to the shins, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, stepping back into your plank or lowering your knees, breathe in. And then breathe out, we can lower knees or you could lower through chaturanga or plank to the ground. 
first option is your sphinx as we just did or if you're warm here and feeling good through the back let's inhale to our cobra and then exhale through to downward facing dog good two breaths inhale and exhale inhale and exhale good let's take the feet together side by side now we could drop the knees if need be at any time otherwise from here we're going to inhale take the right leg into the air as you exhale bend the knee draw the heel to the buttocks and then peel open your hip towards the sky so that right hip opening up into the air good take a breath in and then a breath out as we slowly hug that right knee to the chest and step that right foot forwards. Rising up from the ground, inhale, reaching the hands into the air, high lunge. Good, and as we exhale, we're gonna open the arms out nice and wide to our sides. So really root down through the feet, rise up through the spine and take a breath in. Take a breath out. I want you to bring your attention now, some mental focus right into those oblique muscles, those rotational core muscles, this kind of crisscross corset of the center of the body. Kind of breathe in. And then as you exhale, using these muscles, let's slowly focus on twisting from the core as we open the arms out wide to the right hand side. Good, breathe in through center. And then breathe out, twist to the left. Can we use those core muscles? Let's do that again. Inhale through center. Exhale to the right. Good, inhale through center. Exhale through the right, left side. Good. From here, inhale through center. Exhale to the right. And then can we let the back palm support our lower back or even to the back of the thigh and then reach that left hand to the sky. Breathe in and breathe out nice and slow. Release the hands, windmill them to the ground. Inhale, step back to plank or lower the knees. Exhale, lower knees or chaturanga. Inhale, your choice of back bends and maybe we stick with sphinx, maybe now a cobra like I am. And then exhale, downward facing dog. Good, breathe in, breathe out. Good, feet together side by side, or again, maybe the knees come down if need be. Let's inhale, left leg into the air. And then exhale, bend the knee. Good, inhale, slowly peel the hip open into the air. Breathe here, can we press down through that left hand and stabilize the arms here, breathe. And then exhale, slowly hug the knee to chest around the spine for space as we step forwards. Rising up from the ground, inhale, float the hands up, high lunge. Exhale, Good. find a bit of buoyancy in those hips, knees, ankles. And then let's open the arms out wide as we did before. Lacking a bit of space here, good. Let's take a breath in. And then we're gonna exhale, twist from the center of the body to your left. Bring all your mental focus to those muscles as we inhale through center, and then exhale, twist to the right. Good, rotational core muscles helping to leverage now. Breathe in through center, breathe out to the left. Breathe in through center, and then breathe out to the right. Inhale through center, and then last time here, exhale to the left. Now maybe we wanna use the hand just for a bit of support to the lower back. Maybe it trickles down that back thigh and then reach that right hand to the sky. Take a deep breath in, lift from the front body, good. And then exhale, windmill the hands to the ground, slowly step back, plank, breathe in. Option to lower knees, maybe chaturanga if you prefer, breathe out. Inhale, maybe it's an upward dog, maybe it's a cobra. Lift your heart, your chest. And then exhale, downward facing dog. Nice, breathe in. Breathe out. Good. From here, lower the knees to the ground. Return back to our all fours position. 
plugging down, sorry, bringing the hands underneath the shoulders, spreading the fingertips, and then slowly again, making sure that we're just positioning across the shoulders and the back, stabilizing there, so we're not dipping into that lower back. So find your neutral where your pelvis is just in a place that feels right and you have that equilibrium of sensation for your back. Let's tuck the toes, inhale, lift the knees. Exhale, beginning to rotate, inhale, rotate to the right. Exhale through center. Inhale through left, exhale center. If you want to add on, we're gonna inhale to the right, take the right hand off the floor. Exhale through center. Inhale through left, left hand off the floor, exhale center. And then last one, if you want to add on even more, we inhale, twist to the right, but swivel the toes fully to the back of your mat and then reach the right hand up into the air. Good, exhale, pause. Option to take a hold of the back of the skull and lean into your hand, breathe in. Good, releasing the hand down, breathe out. Return to center. Last one, let's inhale, swivel to the left, as an option to come to the full version now, we swivel the toes parallel to the back of the mat, reach the left hand into the air. Breathe in. Maybe take a hand behind the back of the skull, press into the, skull, the hand, breathe out. Inhale, lean into it, lovely. And then exhale, release the left hand back into that all fours. Breathe in and breathe out. Nice and steady, reach the legs long back into downward dog. Breathing in, breathing out. Nice, one more breath here and out. Good, let's slowly walk the feet forwards, hop or jump to the top, breathe in and then fold, breathe out. Hands to the shins, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Let's reach all the way up into the air. Inhale, floating up tall, lift through the sides of the waist, and then hands to your heart. Exhale. Good. Let's add on a little bit more now just to start to really feel the leverage of the core muscles again without any assistance from the hands now. Let's inhale, rise up to the sky. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. And then exhale, stepping your right leg back here. Rising up to high lunge, breathe in. Coming to twist, breathe out. As we did before, rotational core. Inhale through center. Exhale to twist to the right. Inhale through center. Exhale through the left. Good, we're gonna add on. Inhale through center. Exhale through the right. Inhale through center, and then exhale through the left, but start to lean forwards now. So pressing through the feet, lean forwards, breathe in, and then breathe out, come back through center, hands coming to prayer. Good, we're still slightly rotating to the left. We're gonna inhale, lean again forwards, and then exhale using those rotational core muscles, obliques, pressing the left hip back in space. Can we come to this revolved twist here, but without placing the elbow to the knee? Kind of feels a little bit unsatisfying, I know, but we wanna just feel those rotational core muscles helping us to twist, to be stable in this rotational movement without allowing the elbow to press to the, hand, the knee. Good, press those palms firmly together, just hover the elbow off the knee, breathe in, and then breathe out, release. Well done, let's start to just slowly step that right foot in just a little bit there. You can bend the knees if need be, or you can place two blocks beneath the palms. If we haven't got blocks, just bend the knees a little bit, good. From there, you're gonna slowly start to work your way towards straightening the legs as much as you can here and hug the chin into the chest, taking a breath in. And then as you exhale, dive the back heel away a little bit, press your heart forwards into this long lunge. Good, again, inhale, send the chin to the chest, round the back body, and then exhale, dive the heart forwards. Good, from there, plug your palms down, Inhale, float the left foot off the floor. Breathe in, and then breathe out, hug the knee to the chest. Good, inhale, reach the leg long, 
And then from here, you have an option to drop that right knee, or we're going to slowly swivel the right heel away a little bit. We're going to stack the left foot on top and make our way to side plank. Good. Take a breath in. Take a breath out. Inhale. Exhale, lift from the underside of your waist. And then from there, super slow, start to then step the left foot behind you. So if you're kneeling, you could do this, just pressing the left foot behind and then making your way slowly to wild thing. Reaching the hips back up into the air, windmill the left arm back, breathe in, breathe out. Again, if you wish, take a hold of the back of the skull, lead into the palm, breathe in and then breathe out, slowly release. We have one more here to work that rotation core. Hug the left knee to the chest, hover over your wrists, and then can we thread that left leg through fallen star, reaching the right hand to the air. Breathe in, breathe out. One more breath, inhale, and then windmill the hand to the ground. Exhale, let the knee hug to the chest. Exhale, downward facing dog. Ooh, hopefully you feel warm now. So just take the hip feet out as wide as your mat and then sway your hips side to side. <sighs> yeah, that's a strong transition there. So take it tight, take your time with it. Nice and slow and steady. Never losing your form when you transition. So always important that you feel that you're stable from the wrist through the shoulders before you work your way through these poses. Good. Let's start to then bring the feet back together parallel. Taking your gaze forwards, inhale, step, walk or jump to the top of your mat. Exhale, fold. Good. Hands to the shins. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rising up to the sky, float up tall, hands to your heart, exhale. Good. You're probably thinking, yeah, we've got to do the other side. So let's move on to the other side, taking a breath in, reaching up to the sky, taking a breath out and fold, float your way down nice and slow. Halfway lift as we inhale and then exhale, fold. Let's step the left leg back now here. Nice long lunge and then rising up from the ground. Inhale, float the hands to the air, high lunge. Moving into our twist, using those rotational muscles, we exhale, twist to the right. Inhale through center. Exhale to the left. Good, again, inhale through center. Exhale to the right. Inhale through center. Exhale to the left. Right, last time here. Inhale through center. And then exhale, twisting to the right. Good. So we're going to lean forwards now, breathing in. And then breathe out, lean back, bring the hands into prayer, but maintaining that twist through the spine. Inhale, lean forwards. And then exhale, can we rotate the twist? Imagine that we're taking that left elbow over the right knee, but we're not placing it. We're not connecting bone to bone or any connection there. We just want to work on those rotational core muscles to twist. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. Nice. And then inhale, release the hands to the ground. Exhale, step that left foot forwards a little bit. Slowly when you're ready, inhale, hug the chin to the chest, round your back body, and then send that left heel back a little bit, exhale, long lunge. Inhale, send the hips to the sky, chin to chest, and then exhale, dive your heart forwards. Good. From there, we're going to slowly inhale, step the right leg back so you're hovering in your plank. And then when you're ready, exhale from here, hug the knee back to the chest. Good, again, inhale, reach the leg nice and long. Now option to slowly swivel that left heel away from you a little, stacking the left foot on top to side plank, or if you need to, drop that left knee. Let's take the right hand to the air, breathe in, breathe out. Good, again, breathe in, breathe out. And then from your side plank, can you step the right foot behind and then reach the hips into the air, wild thing, breathe in. 
breathe out good maybe take the hand to the back of the skull lean into it breathe in breathe out from here one last rotational core movement slowly hover back over your wrists and then taking that right leg thread it through across the mat reach the left hand into the air fall and start breathing breathe out so you're in that balancing on the inner arch of that left foot onto that right palm breathe in and then exhale slowly release the hand to the ground step back downward facing dog well done breathe in breathe out let's slowly release the knees to the ground and child's pose back where we began just a couple of moments here just simply allowing all of that energy to filter through the body feel the heart pumping work really hard and just allow the palms to open up into the air take a breath in and a breath out good again a breath in and out nice and slow breathe in and breathe out good and then start to slowly stack your spine up bone by bone as you come up to sit head last to come up and exhale sit tall breathe in and breathe out good let's bring the hands forwards tuck the toes behind and just pop yourself up into a squat position from there we're going to walk the hands behind and then come to sit bring yourself to the center of your mat and then nice and slowly walk your spine down to lie onto your mat good so all that rotational work now just let it all soften soften the belly let everything just let go from there now just as much as we want those rotational core muscles to be strong we want them to have some lax lax as well some softness subtleness so just pressing down into the feet now moving the pelvis just a little rock and a tilt up and down just to sense in your body where you can try and find equal sensation so equal sensation in terms of feeling anything in the lower mid and upper back and just by moving your pelvis for a few degrees can change that sensation so find in your body where that works for you essentially finding your neutral so we're going to press into the feet and then we're going to slowly rise up into our bridge pose so lots of length now into the front body lots of space and length and just pressing into the feet let your arms support you breathe in breathe out good again breathe in and breathe out and then slowly lower bone by bone to the ground now we'll take one more bridge if you have a block to hand or even like a big sturdy book nearby grab that and then placing it beside you as you start to again slowly lift the hips back up into the air for it bringing your block or your your strong sturdy book and placing it to the sacrum so that bony part of the base of the spine you kind of feel a bit of the fleshy part of the buttock sort of like just hanging off the edge there so then just settle the hips down you want to find a comfortable spot there to allow the weight of the hips to sink down into that block and just a few restful breaths here in this supported bridge breathing in breathing out again breathing in and breathing out good nice and steady and slow lifting the hips to remove your block there and release the spine bone by bone and then arrive to take a few moments of rest i'm taking my knees open butterfly pose or knees open here or you could extend your legs into shavasana or you could come to sit in meditation let's just close our practice with a few moments of rest and recovery 
So allow the body weight to sink down into the ground. Let the body feel heavy, but held and supported by the ground. Breathing in. And then opening the mouth and just breathing it all out. Again, breathe in. And breathe out. Breathing naturally. few more moments here, letting go of all effort, every bone, every muscle in the body just feeling heavy and dropping down, but being completely held by the ground. to take a deep breath in and out. Start to notice how you're feeling. This is how the body feels. And awaken now to your surroundings in your space, the surroundings of the sounds you notice, the smells, taste, any colors. And then awaken your sense of touch by just moving the fingers, the toes, bringing back that touch, that movement in the body. And then we reach the arms up and over the head, taking a deep breath in. Lengthening through your whole body and exhale to release. Well done, let your knees hug to your chest and carefully and slowly making your way back up to sit. Sitting back on your mat where we began. Sit tall, sit strong through the spine. Well done. Namaste.